Welcome to the 38th annual Texas Folklife Festival. Here we have all kinds of people with their weird foods and strange languages and odd music on display. If you think Zydeco music and Cajun food are weird, then you'll get a real kick out of Mediterraneans. What kind of food is this? It looks weird. <laughs> no, 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 that's not weird. This is Greek baklava, Greek pastry, very famous, world famous pastry. Layers of filo dough with spices, nuts, and honey filling. Here we have a gyro, which this man insisted on pronouncing as gyro. <laughs> this is so good! This is so good! It can be upsetting finding out your home state was settled by immigrants. See that, that is the Tower of America. Not the Tower of Ireland or Portugal or the Canary Islands, all right? This is the Texas Folklife Festival. We don't need all these other, these other uh, flags and, and, and people coming in here. You people don't belong here. You Polish bastards. You come in here and you take my flower picking jobs and you build my schools. You make me sick. This Native American thinks he's part of the community just because this program helps guide youths into adulthood. So we have various programs from fa our San Antonio Fatherhood program that serves local fathers in the area with parenting. A lot of my kids are involved in that. Yeah, we have uh, groups for the kids. We do uh, uh, a rites of passage group. We do uh, rites of passage. Yeah, rites of passage. What are those? Okay, the rites of passage is uh, it's a curriculum that we take the young men through of how to be, you know, cross the bridge between being a young boy into a young man. So there's different ways, in other words, for them to be respectful, uh, to respect women, yeah, yeah. Uh, for them to be educated, you know. Thank God, a cowboy. Wow, how many men have you killed today? Well, I tried shooting the sheriff, but every show he's taking me out. Oh, man, wow. Uh, what kind of, uh, what kind of gat do you use? I use uh, 1858 Remington 44s. It's, uh, it's got a 44, 45 conversion cylinder so that I can shoot the 45 long coats when we do the shows. Oh no, crowds. What are you guys doing here? You're uh, in Texas. I mean, Germans in Texas? This Absolutely. is the Texas uh, Folklife Festival. What are Germans doing here? Well, Texas, uh, Germans have uh, contributed a great deal to Texas culture, particularly in this area. When I was growing up, people just spoke German in New Braunfels, and Jan, my wife, is from the Grange, and her parents and grandparents spoke German. Other cultures are weird, but they can't be all bad, can they? Guys, say something good about Turkey. I mean, we always hear everybody bashing Turkey and say it's horrible things. Why? Well, I want to hear something good about Turkey. Okay, first of all, before I got stationed in Turkey, my only reference point was uh, Midnight Express, which is a horrible example of what Turkey's really like. Yeah, it, it, it's, just a, it's just a beautiful country. It's westernized. The people are beautiful. They're, they're the most hospitable people in the world. Their cuisine is, is outstanding. And, and anywhere in a, a GNC or the Mediterranean Sea, there's just beautiful coastlines and, and all sorts of nice uh, resorts to go to. And it's just a, and a dollar is strong there. So. And, and you, yeah. ma'am, and you, you, you guys are from Turkey also. Yeah, so is what, he's saying, is what he's saying true? Most definitely. Yeah. I think people get the wrong impression what Turkey, who, what Turkey is, what's about, and um, I just want people to study more before what's, they prejudge. Maybe these cultures yeah. do have a place in Texas history. Maybe I need to rethink my outlook on other people and their traditions. Xenophobe Zach, essaycurrent.com.